So this question says, a cylindrical can containing pieces of fruit is filled to the top with syrup before being sealed. So I'm going to just draw this cylindrical can. And what do we know? We know that there are pieces of fruit in it, which represents that. And then we also know that we fill in the remaining parts or spaces in this can with syrup. So the next sentence says, so that's that's the strategy plug-in picture, okay? So anything that can be drawn, we wanna draw it. The next sentence says, the base of the can has an area of 75 square centimeters. So we know that the base of this can, the shape here, is a circle. We know that the way you find the area of a circle is through pi r squared, right? So that's what the area is equal to. So if the area of the base of the can is 75, that means pi r squared is equal to 75. What else do we know? If 110 cubic centimeters of syrup is needed to fill, I'm sorry, I missed this part, and the height of the can is 10 centimeters. So that's very important. So 10 centimeters for the height. So I'm going to just write that down, H equals 10. If 110 cubic centimeters of syrup is needed to fill the can to the top, which of the following is closest to the total volume of the pieces of fruit in the can? Okay, so I think that the best way to solve this is to figure out the total volume um, of the can itself, and then to subtract the volume of the syrup. Right, so basically how much total space is inside of this can, minus how much of that space was taken up by syrup. Mean, and what we get left over from that should be the volume of the fruit. So how do we find the total volume? Well, the volume formula is V equals pi R squared times height. Now, we know already that pi r squared, which is the same as area, right? We know pi r squared is equal to 75. We also know that the height, because the question told us, is equal to 10. So the total volume for this can is 750 cubic centimeters. How about the volume of the syrup? Well, the question told us that the volume of the syrup was 110 cubic centimeters. I'll subtract that. 750 minus 110 is 640 cubic centimeters. So that must be the volume of the can that was taken up by the fruit. And that leads me to answer choice C.